Hey, Spotter Up. I'm Cy Hudson, the Hudson Manufacturing co owner, co inventor, and CEO. Uh, here to introduce our flagship model, the H9. It's our, it is our baby. It's a 15 plus one 9 millimeter steel construction striker fired gun with a 1911 style trigger. And what we mean by that is we've isolated all the rotation within the sear mechanism. The, the trigger does move straight forward and back. We also took a full size slide and slapped it right above the trigger guard. What that me meant for us is that we could have our bore axis very, very low, but still have a straight axis pull, minimal disruption to your shot process. Now most people want to know why it looks like what it looks like, and form did follow function. We had a full size slide right above the trigger guard, meaning we could not use a traditional browning linked or linkless style system. So our forward cam had to move here on our locking lug, which is also the takedown pin. You're going to push in like an AR, you're going to rotate like a SIG or an MMP or everything no, people know and trust. But we had to keep structural integrity and keep that big and beefy. And then we needed to retain a full-size recoil spring. That's all that is. It's, we needed the space to make sure it's something that you knew, you trusted. It's a full-size recoil spring right around that 17-pound mark and that gives it its unique profile. All that combined makes for a very, very flat shooting gun. It's at around 34 ounces, and I know guys are concerned about the weight, but it is an all steel gun. Compared to a single stack, you know, 1911 at 43 ounces, a CZ75 at 38 ounces, or a SIG 229 or 226 with an aluminum frame, those are at around the same weight at 34 ounces as our steel frame gun. So we're actually very proud that our baby lost that weight during the de development process. You can see, I'm gonna direct the camera down, Three and a half years ago, that's where we were. And that was our first ever prototype. So we had a lot of time and effort that we had to do to get that better. And I didn't mean to interrupt the video, spotter up guys, but I wanted to show that that's where we started. The original DNA was in that pistol, but we had the work to do. We have a slimline grip for a 15 plus one. It's at 1.24 inches. And that's 0 0.06 inches wider for you Glock 19, Glock 17 guys, with our slide actually being about 0.18 inches thinner. But for you 1911 guys, it's actually thinner about 0 0.06 inches. So it's gonna feel very, very nice in the hand. It's also very, very, the pictures make it look very tall. And that's because this is a very tall back and this is a rather beefy front. It's actually only 0.2 inches taller than a Glock 19. We have ambidextrous slide releases, we have reversible magazine release. It'll ship with three magazines, three 15 round magazines, and those magazines will not MSRP for more than $34.99. We're really looking forward to getting this out there. We're look, projecting to ship at second quarter. Let your dealers know you're interested. Let, uh, they'll let the distributors know. Thank you so much to everybody who supported us, got out there, and started asking questions. We are a startup, so without everyone else getting interested, this would not have happened, so thank you.